Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion, and this week I focused on what it means to come together and be a tribe called love. I focused on what it means to come together around a central theme of Christ's love, reaching out to others and caring for them, putting others above self, and all these other great lessons. Well, one of the other important lessons we need to make sure we remember as we come together is that we are going to have different roles. We're going to have different parts, different ways of being in the body. I love the way the Apostle Paul writes this to the church in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, which he talks about the different parts of the body and the different spiritual gifts that are offered, that some are, are, are called to be preachers and some are called to be teachers and some are called to be leaders and some are, are called to, to go out and, and make disciples and, and be apostles. Some are called to be servants. Some are called to serve. There's so many different parts. He says, not one part of the body should ever think that it's above and beyond all the other parts. Because we're all connected together, working for a common a goal, a common affinity. And that common goal is journeying in this life together, making sure we've loved one another and lifted up each other and cared for each other. Too many times we, we look at some roles that people do, whether it's taking care of the yard or, 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 or cleaning up after an event, putting up tables, putting up chairs, taking down tables, taking down chairs. And we don't see them as being as important as maybe singing a solo with the choir or, or lifting up and, and, and saying a wonderful prayer that causes us all to break down in tears and come down to the altar. God says, no, Paul writes in 1 Corinthians, the lesser parts are actually just as important, if not more important sometimes. For what could the eye do but say to the foot, I don't need you? No. Could the mouth tell the ear, we don't need you anymore, we're good. Could the lungs say to the heart, I think I found a way to beat without you. No. We need one another. We need to be better together. In fact, that's the only way we're better. Is when we're together. When we're together around love. When we're together in service. When we're together in the journey. When we're together seeking to, to hold one another up and lift one another up. When we're looking out for each other rather than self. When we're allowing disagreements, but we still keep moving forward. When we allow ourselves to acknowledge that there are differences among us and there's a diversity of goals and, and shared interests and all these other things, but we still keep coming back to that affinity of Jesus Christ, to that affinity of love, to that way of being together. My friends, as the church, we have to be better together. We have to be the group of people that the world looks at and sees has got our act together about love. We are far too distracted by other things when what we are really called to be about is love. God's love, Christ's love, making disciples, following that spiritual call, following the Holy Spirit and doing good deeds. Go now and be better together because of what you've heard today, because of what you've heard this week. Share the message that we're a tribe called love, a church that desires to be a part of every aspect of life and love because of the love our Father, our God in heaven has for us. Amen.